What's going on guys? It's Bryce and we're back with a logic video. All right, my logic fans, we're back. All right, it's been a month since Ultra 85 has released and we're back with some new logic news because you know this man, he just keeps going and going and going and he, he don't know when to stop because he doesn't want to. All right, because because he doesn't want to, that's why. So we're going to get into a lot of the news here and a lot of the news today is regarding our good friend Juicy J. So as you guys know, you know, Juicy J and Logic have been friends for a very long time, almost a decade at this point. Here's a picture of them working on music together in 2015 in the studio, which is pretty dope to see. And, you know, throughout the years, of course, their friendship has grown and now being honestly what seems to be like probably best friends. Multiple times you said that you guys are best friends. Like, I reached out, my manager reached out to his management. I'll like, fuck with his music. I'm a fan. Like, I said, be fans of these people yeah. listening. I like, let's, why not? Juicy J is, you know, I got this ratchet shit and Logic, he come with them serious bars. I'm like, man, that's a. Like you put those two together, like, what the fuck we can come up with? You know what I'm saying? It's very dope to, like, actually see that unfold in real time. But I'm bringing Juicy J up because they're dropping a few albums together. Now, the first album here, well, I say first, and I'll know which one's dropping first out of these two on Metal List. But one of these albums is Logic's album. It is executively produced by Juicy J, and there's, I'm sure there's going to be Juicy J features. So all the direction is Juicy J. I'm sure it'll help on production and stuff. But it's going to be called Funkadelic, all right? And it's a funk-inspired album, as the name would suggest. And I got some snippets here I'm going to play for y'all. So if y'all just want to just want to check in with them, they hard as shit. Fits in here because Bryce Fitz is definitely having a heart attack right now. Bro, Funkadelic? Crazy! Back in the day as a young and I'm winning and gunning and no ain't no telling me nothing. You better be fronting, you stepping to me, I'm not letting it be, yeah, I'm repping them D. If you want a verse, no better step with a feet, you my enemy, ain't no befriending me, no ain't no sending me love. I send you to beat your whole family above, what? Yeah, we pop, 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 Y'all ain't ready for that funk logic, dog. So, hey, I, I thoroughly enjoyed those because I am having a heart attack, all right? When I heard those, I did have a heart attack. Let me tell you, insane. And even Twitch themselves even having a heart attack, which I'd like to add is that this was streamed on Twitch. So, Logic making a little bit of a return to Twitch. That was first stream in, like, two years. I could see it happening more often, but he has been very active in the Discord. But, hey. Hey, Funkadelic, Funkadelic, baby, and another Juicy J Logic album is one that we've been talking about for a while. This one is Juicy J's album that is executively produced by Logic, and, you know, Logic, I'm sure, handling a lot of the production, and Juicy J handling production on that as well, but we got another snippet for that as well. Y'all ain't ready for that new Juicy J. Entire album produced by Logic on some Alchemist Gibbs shit, on some Mad Lib shit, homie. You ain't never heard Juicy J like this. What's the problem, nigga? What's the problem, nigga? Cause we both got the same 24 hours, nigga. What's the problem, nigga? What's the problem, nigga? Eat by yourself, you must wanna get devoured, nigga. Hey, why you get down on your nigga? You ain't have to stay up late and sit out on them niggas. <laughs> Feel like my mind on the edge almost every day. Came from the bottom, I done made it out to get paid. Feel like my mind on the edge almost every day. Y'all ain't ready for that new Juicy J. And this one was amazing. I mean, Logic explained it perfectly in that clip. That's exactly what it sounded like. The the people he was listing in comparison. It's exactly what I sounded like. Now, 
there is one more snippet. Uh, it's featuring Wiz Khalifa. That's on this album. Um, I am not going to play it because I'm kind of scared because Logic's voice isn't in the snippet to play it on the channel because copyright strikes. And I can't even show the video because Wiz Khalifa's doing the Wiz Khalifa thing on it. But hey, if you want to hear that, it's linked in the description. Uh, you could just hear Wiz's part on it. But hey, it's hard. It is very, 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 very hard. And I think Logic was working on a song on the Twitch stream for Funkadelic that he wanted to that he wanted to get Wiz on for his own album. So expect more Wiz Khalifa and Logic stuff. And we already knew they were they were together. But I think this new Juicy J album, it's called Live in Color, is coming sooner than later. Uh, I don't know if Funkadel is going to come sooner or later. Logic said within two months it will drop. I'm not going to hold him to that, and I don't think you should either. Because <laughs> I just don't know if that's actually going to happen. But hey, as always, we might just have to wait and see what goes on and as far as albums we do have here's like the full list of like relevant albums that'll probably maybe perhaps come out is paradise records the indie soundtrack for his film which we do know is coming probably next year live from outer space which is college park side b indie songs type shit stuff like that live in color juicy j album produced by logic cocaine larry which is uh this guy yeah i'm not allowed to explain anymore logic would get mad Funkadelic, which we just talked about, produced by Juicy J. Shoot to Kill, which is going to be Logic's second funk album. Will we even get to that point? I don't know. But Logic did say that would be the name for it. A Seth MacFarlane collab album. And of course, the one we've been talking about for years and years, The Ballad of Rooster Jenkins, which is based in the Wild West radio play skit thingy narrated by Morgan Freeman. But those are coming. All right. Which ones are coming? Which uh, the only one Logic gave any type of window for was Funkadelic coming in the next two months. And I guess we can, you know, expect the Paradise Records soundtrack to come out with the movie, which is probably coming out next year, but could even be later, man. I, I don't even know. But to add on to all that, there is another snippet here that Logic did play where he basically asked Chad if we'd like it and if we think he should drop it. So I, I guess let him know. But here's that snippet. I don't know what project that would fall on. I don't even know if Logic's going to continue to kind of like make full projects. And I think he should just start releasing singles and stuff. You know, he did that throughout the Discord in the past. But just start putting stuff on streaming or YouTube at this point, dog. <laughs> uh, but anyways, there is stuff coming like that. And it is exciting. And there are little other things happening. Uh, do you like uh, DJ Academics crashing out on Logic? I remember Logic was hot at the end. Bro, nigga, Logic not top five in his own family. The fuck is you talking about? They got five actual niggas that's blacker than Logic. That's one, two, three, four, five. Before Logic, mulatto looking white ass. And like, not, I shouldn't be joining on the Logic hatred. Logic, I love you. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> that was fucked up. My bad. Yeah, I know Blackie speaks fuck with him. I'm gonna listen to rant. I'm sorry. Logic, I like you. But you're not top five. You're just not top five. Okay? <sighs> So uh, but, uh, that's nice to see. Uh, in two days, Kevin Smith's movie, the 430 movie, will be coming out. And Logic is playing a superhero in the movie. So uh, I guess check that out for some more Logic acting stuff. And, of course, in uh, a week from today, less than a week from today, the Ultra 85 novel comes out. I'm going to read the shit out of it. The book is not free, but the audiobook is free with Spotify Premium. So you have Spotify Premium, go mess with that. You just be able to listen to the whole story of the Ultra 85 and I believe it's being narrated by Steve Bloom. So that's pretty 
fucking fire. And the final thing here, which is actually really cool, is the Ultra 85 CD is available for pre-order. It's linked in the description. Look at that cover, dog. This shit is like classic old like video game -y old. I love this cover. It is one of the coolest like alternate covers I've ever seen for Logic ever. Like this is like some of my favorite art direction. I absolutely love that. And of course, if you're still interested in any more Ultra 85 merch, there's plenty of that on Logic's merch website. And yeah. That's the stuff, bro. That's the extra logic stuff update. This the, the the stuff, the logic stuff video. I get in here and I talk about the stuff with logic, and that's what I've done today. So a hey, lots of stuff coming. Funkadelic soon. Shoot to kill soon. Live and color soon. Paradise record movie soundtrack soon. Who is what is a cocaine Larry and why he does he do cocaine? Uh, all types of things coming. Kevin Smith movie. I don't need novel. Live, all types of things, bro. All types of things. But a. Hey, this is what we do on the channel, so if you guys enjoyed watching the update, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any videos, updates, anything like that, go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram, get that weekly update of new music, probably that playlist, and do my Discord down there too, and yeah, it's from Bryce. Peace.